know, yo, we back out here again with another Lego review. Speed Champions 2024, these sets just keep on coming. I just gotta keep on building them. So in today's video, we're gonna be checking out this one right here, the Aston Martin. I'm a big fan of Aston Martin. The Vantage safety car and the AMR 23. Safety car that you see in all the F1 races and the actual F1 car, Aston Martin pretty new last few years if you're keeping up with what's it called drive to survive on netflix shout out i've been watching that for the last few seasons and i like it it makes the sport a lot more interesting than just watching it on tv i tell you that much we're looking at the lego set here today first thing i want to tell you is that there are a few different things that really stand out to me about this build in particular all right one of the first things is that the safety car is a vibe it's super clean <laughs> I feel like the shapes on these builds just keep getting better and better. Look at this. I mean, Aston Martin is a sports car, and just because it's a safety car, don't sleep on it. But this thing right here, it is super nice. One of the things I really liked about the build, there were a few things that stood out. This side thing, the use of this uh, curved piece to get that door, I don't even know what you'd call it, but kind of that, that shoot for where the door goes, that's really smooth. The spoiler looks good. A couple of my favorite things about the build were actually putting in the rear glass piece there. It kind of snapped in and they did it in a different way than in a lot of these other cars. And low key, my favorite part was the back. Look at these lights. See if I can get some better light on that. Yeah, look at that. Now, the way that they end up putting this together is not in the way that you would expect. Oh, looks like my spoiler's falling off. The way that they put them on is not in a way that you would expect. Only the ones on the outside are attached in like up and down fashion, but that whole back panel was like built like this and then stuck on that way. And so they end up getting that arch with the red lights. Super dope. I, that's a really nice touch. I like that. I like it a lot. This car right here, it's smooth. Obviously the stickers are what the stickers are. <laughs> and that's just the stickers from the F1 car. But at least the glass is printed here with the Aston Martin. So you get a little something there. I don't know why out of all the stickered pieces, these headlights are not. It doesn't really make sense to me. Seems like it would be easy to just do them all stickers. It's not a complaint, but it's more of a curiosity. Like if that's what we're gonna do, why is it like that all the way? But I like this one, really like the build. Aston Martin, I've been a fan for a long time. In fact, I'm over here watching Casino Royale while I was building this. James Bond fan through and through. That might be a little spoiler for which of these speed champions is my favorite, but safety car out of the way. Now we gotta talk about the Formula One car. Now this one right here, right off the bat, I even got it framed here next to the McLaren, just so you can see how similar it is. And this is one of the things I liked about this build a lot. Now, if you line these up, let's say we got that shot, these cars are on the grid, safety car in the back. This looks like an F1 race right here about to happen. Look at these cars, similar build, and yet there was enough different about each build where it's like, okay, they did some cool stuff here. And I think that actually accurately reflected F1 because most of the cars, at least in the visual are the same, but what they have going on under the hood and a little bit with the body, it's a little bit different. And these two really gave me that feel of, wait a second, these cars are almost the same, but there's little slight differences. And I think that really leveled up the build experience, especially because I'm looking at this one and I'm thinking of this one at the same time, just to see what's different. And there were a couple differences in the back with what they did with the spoilers and putting on the wheels there. And then some other stuff on the sides, really subtle details about what they have going on back here, as opposed to in there on the McLaren. So that was really cool. Now, the issue that I have <laughs> is not with this car because I really love building this. And these two clearly look like F1. They look like they're about to take off the grid already. But it's when you introduce the Mercedes back into the mix, this thing doesn't fit with these at all. It looks like if you put these three in a race, you know the Mercedes is gonna lose. Sorry, Toto. I mean, let's keep it real. If we're looking at this Mercedes compared to the McLaren and the Aston Martin, this is a brick. <laughs> no offense. I'm a Mercedes fan too. You saw my ratings for the AMG, but I gotta keep it real. These here, this is the way to go. If they build more of the F1, Red Bull seems like it would be a likely candidate as big as they've been over the last couple of years. 
the success that they're having. It'd be cool to have those. And even some of these other cars out here, like Ferrari, and it doesn't seem like it should be that hard. I don't know anything about getting rights and, and uh, whatever it takes to have the licenses to do these cars right here. But you've already got Aston Martin, Mercedes, McLaren, and Ferrari. Lego actually has several models, Ayrton Senna in the, the Technic, the bigger model, the bigger car. So why not have the Ferrari F1 car in this uh, collection in the Speed Champions line? But like I said, Red Bull would be really cool to have as well. And several other different cars out there, big companies I'm sure would love to partner with Lego in making this thing happen. And just imagine if we could have an entire F1 grid <laughs> of speed champions like a subline a subset of the speed champions i think that'd be super sick for all that i liked about this set there's one glaring thing at least that i did not like and the irony for this is that it's right on the box all right so here's the box and right when i looked at this i had questions i hadn't seen the f1 series drive to survive for a while but i was pretty sure that this green color i might have seen it on the safety car but i was positive that it was not the color of the actual f1 car and sure enough i didn't even have to go online to look because right here on the back of the box look at what we have here we've got this green this super salamander green jungle green and right under here in the corner, we have the actual car. So it's ironic because on the box, you have these two shots, one of the Lego car, one of the F1 car. I think they're putting them here so you can see the similarities. And it, you know, for the most part, it looks good. You've got the stickers, you've got the, the wheels, you have all the branding is in place. It really stands out like a sore thumb. If we would have had this color right here on these, oh my goodness. Like that kind of blue, I don't know if there's ever been a vehicle. I haven't seen that much in that kind of a blue, but I know that they have it. So, and look, even on the Mercedes, they have a blue that's closer to what we're seeing in this than this. So I would have loved to see uh, something that more teal blue, that kind of sea, sea foam kind of color, as opposed to this green, because uh, you know, when I watch Drive to Survive, this is not the color that I see on these cars. So while for the most part, I think the build experience was awesome. I love the Aston Martin brand. I've always said if there was one expensive car that I could ever have, like out of all the ones that are out there, it would be an Aston Martin for sure. James Bond is a big part of that, like I said, undoubtedly. This build was fantastic. The experience was great. I understand the stickers. I love the designs, the clean lines of the cars, but the color kind of throws it off for me. When I see this green, I'm not thinking of Aston Martin anymore. And maybe I need to go back and watch. Maybe they have a new color in the new season. I don't know. But at least from what I'm seeing on this box right here, I'm not tripping. So <laughs> let me know what y'all think about that down below. But that's my review, that's my thoughts on the Aston Martin Vantage safety car and the F1 AMR 23. Legit set, glad I got it, absolutely fun to build. And I still got a couple more to put together here in the review, so I'll see you then, all right, peace. And hey, let me know what you think down below about these things, am I tripping? I, you know, any y'all been to any of these Formula One races in person? Uh, is this green accurate? Like, what are we talking about here? And what are your thoughts on the sets and the speed champions in general? Seems like there's some controversy. Some people aren't feeling it. Some people are. What are your thoughts? Let me know. Looking forward to hearing from you. All right. Peace.